This is just how we start things out. This is always how we start the episode. You know, uh, Jason actually wrote this. No. The last two guests no, have didn't. spit rhymes. Do you rhyme at a rap at all? No, no, no. Okay. Dave? You gonna spit a few verses? <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Their guitar is fine, too. <laughs> Yo, 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 what up? This is Jason at Go Power Sports, and this is Mini Biking Ain't Easy, a podcast for mini bikes, go karts, motorsports, power sports, electric scooters if you want. And I am joined with my main man, Zane, making sure that we're in the lane. I got Bernie on the one, two, and threes. Those are his fingers. And today we have a special guest. We have the group Black 66. So, more specifically, we have Son Allen. (laughs) <laughs> Sorry. And Father David. So, Dave, you run Black 66, the YouTube channel, and you're going to have to take me back into time. What was your, or when did you first start the YouTube channel? Uh, I started the YouTube channel in 2014. Okay. But uh, uh, ori- originally, it wasn't for go karts and mini bikes. It was, I really didn't know what it was going to be for. So, I came up with the name Black 66 just as a generic name. Mm-hmm. You know, and then I started flying drones over the Tesla Gigafactory nice. before it was built. <laughs> nice. At the time, I was flying a DJI Phantom 2 drone, which didn't have quite a very good range. So I would hike up into the hills, into the te- Tesla Gigafactory, and Tesla security didn't like that very much. <laughs> so I got kicked off the property. They called the sheriff. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So I ended up stopping that channel and then... Later on, I think around 2017, I started the channel back up again. Okay. And then um, for go karts and mini bikes and stuff. You are always one of the most smiley people I've ever seen. Like every one of your videos, you just always look like you are like I'm having the time of my life. Yeah, and even now, fun. you're talking about you're talking about getting arrested. Yeah, it was pretty good. Well, I didn't I didn't quite get arrested. I mean, they called the sheriff. You know, oh, and the okay. sheriff came uh, out and he was yeah. cool. Oh, okay, but, you know, cool, cool. Okay, yeah, I got mean, it. but I did get a ticket. Oh, yeah, boo, yeah. boo that, boo. Yeah, boo. yeah that's a, <laughs> we don't like that at all, oh, guys. That one works. <laughs> I know. So why were you flying drones over te- Tesla um, factory? They, they were building the Giga, Giga factory at the time in 2014, the Tesla Giga factory between Reno and Burnley, Nevada. Okay. And so, is that uh, home? It was then. Okay. Yeah. And home now is? Um, Kingman, Arizona. Okay. Yeah. So you're flying over Tesla. Keep going. <laughs> yeah. So I was flying the drone over Tesla. And like I said, that it didn't have a range. So I would hike up into the hills to get close to the Gigafactory. Could, just because you wanted to see more of the factory? That was that the biggest thing? Yeah. Center? And plus, I mean, line of sight with the drone. Okay. Just so I could see the drone okay. going over the building. So your, over the building. your YouTube footage, was it just aerial shots? Uh, pretty much. I mean, just aerial shots of the construction of the Gigafactory. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Now, do you, you know. fancy yourself more of a cameraman? Uh, I mean, not really. I mean, it was just a, a hobby, you know. Uh, okay. I mean, they had a, the drone had a gimbal with a GoPro on it. And I mean, it was just, you know. Now, yeah. have you dabbled with cameras before this? Nope. Okay. Even now, I just, I use a GoPro for the camera. Okay, <laughs> I was wondering what your extent was. So, no. what got you into go karts and mini bikes in 2017? Um, actually, I was into go karts and mini bikes since I was a kid. My dad had a go kart and mini bike shop. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. Back when I was a kid. Nice. I think it was uh, late 70s, early 80s. Mm. So, um, you know, so I had access to like, I mean, all different types of go karts, mini bikes. We used to race carts, actually. Nice. Back in the 80s. Oh, whoa. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah. We used to race dirt, mainly dirt, like Paris Raceway, Elsinore Raceway, Corona Raceway, Hmm. stuff like that. And we ran the- Is that uh, California? Yeah, in California. Oh, okay. Gotcha. And we ran the Flathead Briggs back then. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, mainly, you know. Nice. So that's what got me started into carts and mini bikes. And then um, I wasn't into it for quite a few years. I mean, after my dad closed the shop, I went into the military for four years. And okay, what branch? Uh, Army. Oh, who? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Same. <laughs> oh, right on. Yeah. Cheers, brother. Yeah. Yeah. So I was a light wheel vehicle mechanic in the in the military. So okay, so you get out of the military, then four years later. Yeah. So um, I was in the military for four years, and then um, I got out of the military, got my CDL, and started driving a truck. Okay. So I was hauling fuel. Whoa, yeah. okay. So for quite a few years, I think 10, 11 years or so. Then from there, I moved to Nevada and started working for the, the Nevada Department of Corrections. 
a correctional officer for 20 years, a little over 20 years. Really? Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I worked at the uh, Level Lock Correctional Center with OJ. OJ was there. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Hey, could you get a selfie? Oh, oh no. no. Okay. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> nice. Selfie or it didn't happen. Yeah. No. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. yeah so oh, and okay. then after that, then okay. I, I wanted something to uh, do in retirement. Yeah. So then I went ahead and did the uh, the uh, YouTube channel. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And so and you decided to kind of get back to basics, going back to your roots of yeah. go-karts and mini bikes and yeah. just wheeled mechanicry. Pretty much. I love yeah. that, man. Yeah. I mean, we did it through the years a little bit um, with the kids. I mean, not carts and mini bikes, but like pit bikes and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. You know, but. Okay. Kind of really never did the cart thing for quite a few years, you know, 20 years, 30 years. I don't know. Like, oh, okay. That's a little bit of a break. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. So now, Alan, yeah. uh, did you guys, were you guys working in the shop a lot together, uh, like through your childhood? Has, has well, your dad always kind of been a, oh yeah, a all builder? The time. Yeah, mostly uh, on cars at the time. Oh, okay. Yeah. What kind of cars do you work on? Oh, I had a V8 Vega, uh, 95 LT1 Camaro, yep. a C5 Corvette. I had all kinds of stuff. Like okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Very <laughs> yeah. cool and varied. Yeah, it was I like a lot it. of different stuff. Oh, okay. Nice, yeah. man. Yeah, and so that was so. It has has working with your hands and working in the shop always been kind of an escape for you, or is yeah, it like a good stress relief? Yeah, or? yep. Okay, just go out into the garage and nice and yeah. wrench, you know, <laughs> or whatever, you know. <laughs> now, Alan, do you have brothers or sisters? Yes. Or just you? okay. You do. Yes. Okay. Are you youngest, oldest? I'm the oldest. You are the oldest. Yes. If you don't mind, how old are you? I am 32. Okay. Very cool. Yep. So you've learned a lot from your dad. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nice. Not only on the mechanical side, do you help them out camera work wise or anything? I do sometimes when I'm around. Do you do quite a bit with the channel, or is it more you're more just the the writer for this weekend? I'm just the writer. Okay, yes. so <laughs> you you're definitely then skilled enough to go up and down our GPS 180 yes. track. Oh yes. Now, do you do any other motocross or dirt biking or no, anything? Nothing. Nope. <laughs> do you ride much in mini bikes? Nope. Not at all. <laughs> no, no I, I like it, though. I, I, I got a good feeling about this, yeah. man. What kind of bike are you guys riding? That's a Mega Moto 212. Mega Moto, yeah. Oh, With nice. What kind of upgrade you got to it? Um, Not at all. <laughs> we're running a um, Tillerson 263. Nice. Whoa, yeah. okay. Yeah, I know. I wanted to do a 225, but, you know, we just went ahead and left the 263 <laughs> on there. Yep. And then um, it's got the GPS swing arm okay. and um, fabbed our own shock mounts. We're always messing with stuff. For sure. sure. Yeah, okay. I mean, just stuff like that. Yeah. Put a... <laughs> A uh, chain tensioner on it, just you know, just to keep it together mm. for yeah. the for the race. Hopefully, we'll yeah. see. So, do you yeah. have a strategy for this this GPS one eighty race coming up? Um, honestly, just to have fun. Okay, yep, that's about it. <laughs> do you, so, I, my heart is that everyone makes it back in one piece. Yes, please don't, don't get hurt. Get hurt. Yes. that's and yeah. you know, are you wearing full get yes, up at all? I am. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Now, are you running most of the laps? Are you guys trading off every lap? I'm gonna run most of it. Okay, and yep. just whenever you need a break, have pops yep. jump on. Yep. <laughs> Are you confident in your riding ability? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not dirt. I'm okay on the asphalt. Okay. For mini bikes, but yeah, I don't want to see. Rider. Yeah, I don't want to see anyone get hurt nope. for sure. Yeah. So tomorrow, are you guys going to be out there doing a practice lap? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Have you guys watched? We did like a little bit of a uh, like a first person run through of the course. Have yeah. you guys watched yes. through it? Oh, yeah. and, mm -hmm. So what are you expecting from it? What do you think is going to give you the hardest time? The hill or like the downhill portions yeah. or the straightaways? What Just the thinking? more of the rocky areas, really. Yep. Got Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. That and that pipe, if you guys still have that in the track. No, nope. that, is, oh. that's no, no, gone. that was a hazard last year. That was so. straight, yeah. That was the biggest speed bump I think we had out on the course. Yeah, so we've trenched that, dug, put, put it underneath so it's nice and smooth. Sweet. Actually, that whole back row, if you want to gun it, as soon as you come down the bottom of the hill of Bucking Bronco, before you get New Hogland where that pipe was, you can just wide open throttle. It, it's a lot of fun. It's smooth out there. Yes. It's so gonna especially be, with that rear swing arm. It's gonna be yeah. a fast track this year. Oh, uh, for sure. There's a lot of good spots, especially for overtaking if you're if you're going for the more competitive ride, but if you're just doing this as a I wanna see what happens. Exactly. Like yeah. 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 That's I I look at it as like an Iron Man or something. It's like some people are there because they wanna get they're like, I'm going to be the number one on the no. podium. And then yeah. some people are there because like I just want to see if I can do it, man. Like, I want to do an Iron Man. Exactly. Like, that's it. That's the only reason yeah. I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Just to have fun, really. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Now, did you guys just bring one mini bike? 
Actually, no, we brought it quite a bit. Yeah, we got a, quite a few with okay. us. That's yeah. good because yeah. sometimes you may need spare parts. Yep. And even tomorrow, just to go exploring around, it's a it's a lot of land just to go have fun on. It there's, is. Oh, yeah. There's gorgeous. little hidden ponds all the way, so if you want to go exploring, oh, that's cool. you can go on foot. But on mini bike is definitely a whole lot funner. So were you guys at last year's 180? No. no. Oh, okay, cool, cool. What? Well, I'm I'm excited to have you out to the ranch, yeah, man. It's a beautiful little piece yeah. of land. Yeah. No little piece of land. <laughs> How many acres piece. is it anyway? It's uh, 200 acres. Oh wow! Okay. I mean, a lot of the uh, mi a lot of the mini bike path are just it's because deer have been walking out there, hogs have been walking out there. We have pretty good sized turkeys. They'll probably be scared from all the noise that we're making, but you may see animals out there. It's definitely nice. Texas wild out there. I know. I was we were going out doing a we were doing a function check on all the walkies earlier this week, and I saw at least two deer yeah. during my walk. So. I think, yeah, they're definitely out there, but oh, okay. I don't think we got to worry about them too much. What about That's donkeys good. and horses? Yes, for sure. <laughs> yes, there are. I, yeah. say, yeah. I noticed that on some of your videos. <laughs> yes, donkey and horse. That donkey okay. is super chill. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, he's super cool. Although, er, <laughs> when we were out there last time, he literally stopped in front of Jason, so Jason could not get past him. <laughs> no, so donkey actually... Uh, we one of our guys, Junior, had his tailgate down. Donkey went and sat on the tailgate and then pooped on the tailgate. Oh, yeah, I think I saw then, that video. And then oh, rubbed cool. it into the tailgate. Nice. So watch out for that donkey, everybody. He's Close, bit close your tailgates. That's all we can say, guys. <laughs> yes, uh, Are you guys camping out there? You guys got an RV or a tent? Uh, or We got a motel. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, okay. Nice. That's probably a whole lot better. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, so now with the YouTube channel... Uh, what was your expectation starting it? Like, what was it like, you know, and, and what has your schedule been like? Have you increased the amount that you release your videos or has it always remained pretty consistent? Yeah, it's pretty consistent. I do uh, two videos a week, which is a lot for that's one guy. That's yes, a lot. That yeah. Is. And do you do your own editing? And yeah. Everything? And that's the, wow. that's the time consuming part for me is editing. Yeah. Yes. You know, that's time consuming part for everyone. Yeah. It's, it's kind of hard. I mean, it's hard time consuming, you know, yeah. just hours in front of the computer, you know. Yeah, it's, it's just been a lot of time. Well, um, if you don't mind asking, what do you edit on? Movie Magic Pro. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, because yeah. I was. I, there are times where I'll watch your videos, and I really enjoy when you go out and you do the r full riding footage. Yeah. Because it is really nice to see these roads, and a lot of times you're going out, and it's like the mountains are always kind of in the background. It's like yeah. really nice. It's very mm -hmm. relaxing. Yeah, those are actually the videos that are easy to edit, you know? I mean, <laughs> I mean, you're not cut, not, not a lot of cutting. Oh, yeah, you don't have to cut yeah. everything up. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Definitely makes a difference. Oh, yeah. So. But it's time-consuming. I mean, you know, coming up with video ideas and then um, and then actually out there working on the bike. Yeah, you know, which is hours, depending on what the video is about. Yeah, you know the topic, yeah. and then um, and then editing it. You know, so it, yeah. it's time consuming, and then doing two a week. You know, so I thought about dropping down to like maybe one a week at some point. Yeah, you know, I know that's what Cars and Cameras did yeah. earlier this year. So, yeah. um, did you expect it to get as big as it is? Because I mean, I did, to be honest, honestly. you're kind of a legend. <laughs> like everyone knows you. Yeah. It, like when you come out here, everyone like. Everyone know who you were. It was yeah, crazy. It was kind of weird. I mean, <laughs> I didn't really have any expectations. I just, I mean, whatever. I just needed something to do in retirement. You know, and I didn't want to go back to work. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'll just do a YouTube channel. Nice. You know, yeah. So it's like whatever. And it's, yeah, and it's it, awesome. It's just mainly for fun, you know, yeah. basically, you know. And you're doing something you love. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's you awesome. Know? Now, do you have a few videos already in like the hopper ready to go? Or yeah. Does being out here throw off your whole schedule? No, actually, I like this because um, it gets me. Um, um, video content, video ideas, yeah. you know, it's just something new, Yeah, you know, something we haven't did before. So it's kind of cool. Out of everything you've done before, what are you the most proud of video wise or build wise? Oh man, there's, I think my first one, like my Mega, Mega Moto 80, 105, that very first one I stretched. I don't know. I like that bike. Nice. Oh, I mean, nice. Do you still have that one? Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Does it yeah. have like center shrine or something? I don't know. Or? I just like that one. <laughs> bikes I like, you know, I don't know, but is it your, what's your favorite to ride? Oh man. Ah, uh, that's kind of a hard question. I mean, I kind of like the little bikes myself because I'm small. You yeah. Know? Yeah. I mean, you know, overall, yeah. just to cruise them around. Yeah. But yeah, you have the build of a much bigger guy. Like whenever I was watching, I was like, man, he's got to be like six one or something. It, you look like, like in the videos, you look very well, I keep like, the camera jacked. close so I look buff. Oh, there you go. Yeah. 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 Well, I was going to say, so how do you stay so jacked? I'm curious. Oh, I do um, a lot of push-ups, man. I actually had the push-up. Um, we did a push-up competition at the prison prison and i actually won the push-up competition oh, nice. at all the other guards wow and, and they're like half my age <laughs> but, i mean they could have beat me 
like I always said, I mean, like I always told them, I was like, man, you guys could have beat me if they would have just practiced. Yeah, you know? it's, it's just practice. Oh, yeah. And that year I set up in a tower because we could bid on our spot, you know, at the prison. Yeah. You know, yeah. as you get seniority. Okay. So okay. anyway, my later years, I would bid on the tower. I mean, it's just easy money, you know. And yeah. I'd be up there just pounding out push-ups, pounding <laughs> out push-ups. And I'd do it at home and then... It was cool. You know, so, most so, people, when they talk about a prison workout, they're picturing the inmates doing it. They're yeah, not well, picturing, you know, the guards getting super yeah. buff. So. <laughs> I was doing it just to beat the, the win the push-up contest. That was it. I, mean, I didn't care. <laughs> yeah. I'm small, so I could do a lot of push-ups. Yeah, it's, yeah it is know. easier to be a smaller person to do them. Yeah. Yeah. So it was fun. Okay. Was cool. Nice. So, um, I'm curious, how many total mini bikes do you roughly think you have right now? Um, I think 25. 25? Yeah. Where do you store them all? Uh, just in the garage. Okay, they all fit in your garage? <laughs> yeah, my wife appreciates it. Uh, yes. I'm sure I she does. Say she's like, <laughs> <laughs> no. Actually, I didn't think, I mean, I never thought I'd have that many. Yeah. You know, it just happened. Do you think you'd end up selling any? Yeah, probably. Okay. Or give some away on the channel or something. Oh, that's not I, a bad idea. Yeah, something. I don't know. We'll Eventually. Yeah. Yeah. When you, when it's time to get some more, right? Yeah. Yeah. We'll figure it out. <laughs> okay. You know. Is there a mini bike that you have an eye on that you're, are you a collector of mini bikes? Is there one that you really want that you don't have? Uh, basically just the ones I don't have now, you know, just whatever I don't have. Yeah. Overall, I just want to get it at some point for <laughs> okay. video content. Yeah, you know, for sure. That's what it is, you know. Yeah. Nice. You know. Have you tr have you ridden a Trailmaster, a Hurricane or an MB200? Well, we have the we have an MB200. Okay. Yeah. So that's, we actually brought it here for okay. we, we were going to race that at first. We built we built that bike to race. But then um we brought out our Megamoto 212 and we were doing faster lap times on our own little track oh. with that cuz we're, you know, I'm not really a dirt rider, and I felt more comfortable with the the smaller, the lower bike. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, and I think he did too. Yeah, oh, yeah. you know. So okay. uh, wow. I mean, if we had more, if I had more skills or whatever, I'd probably <laughs> be, be I would be riding the MB200. But okay, you know, but. what tires are you, are you running on the Mega Moto 212? Are they the stock 19? Uh, yeah, v yeah, treads? yeah. The the stock 19, but okay. they are um the uh, Sun F we have on the uh, okay yeah the stock the stock size. Yeah, because yeah. one of the biggest differences between one of those Trailmasters and the Mega Moto would be ground clearance. True. Because there is True. Pucker Up Buttercup, which does get a little yeah. rocky, but yeah. I've seen Mega Moto 212s go down there flawlessly, so you should be all yeah. right. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. That oh, is yeah. one yes. one spot that you yeah. definitely don't want to be thrown off of. But you you guys are going to get some really good footage when you're riding. I'm assuming you're going to have a body cam? Yeah, I'll throw one on there. Oh, okay, yeah. nice, yeah. Or, it's going to yeah. be some good footage for your channel. Our camera, or yeah. a um, helmet cam. Yeah, you know, you have well, ideas for what your GPS 180 video would be. Is it a full three hour <laughs> mm, race no. video? I mean, I'll edit it down, <laughs> yeah. but you know, I don't. We're just gonna see what happens. Yeah, you know, that's just cool. <laughs> yeah. that I've never been there. So. Out here yet. Yeah, yeah. Nice. We're glad that you guys de are definitely yeah. out here. So, do you see? Is there an evolution for the channel that you want to see, or is it just like you just really enjoy building yeah. and sharing that? Yeah, I just do it. That's it. I mean, really? Okay. Yeah, it's just for fun. Basically, it's just for fun. I mean, bottom line, it's yeah for fun. That's yeah. you know, That's it. I mean, so I mean, like whatever happens, happens. You know. Yeah. I mean. I mean, I that's mean, literally what these things are. These things are basically just fun on wheels. Yeah. So exactly. it's like, yeah, if you turn it into something else, it becomes a little bit of a. Yeah. Then it becomes a job. You know. I mean, <laughs> I could turn it turn it into a business, but I'm like, you know, it's just fun. So, yeah. You know. Don't poison the well. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, maybe later on or something. You know, if we got like super huge or something, but. Yeah. It's like whatever. But yeah, no, I know. You're a. Uh, yeah, no, you are a living legend so far. I think, I mean, you're going to be surprised when you get out there and everyone is like, oh, it's Black 60s. <laughs> yeah, it was, I know, it was weird. We went to the Phoenix Hood ride, and um, at that time, I only had, like, I don't know, 5,000 subs or something, and all kinds of people <laughs> were coming up to me. I'm like, that is weird. I guess the community is just The community tight, is, you know? yeah. Um, yeah. So it were. You only became a part of the mini bike community and the the I would guess the go kart community too. Really, when you started the channel and everything, pretty much. What I mean, has anything surprised you about the community, or you know, what are the best aspects of that, it? That the, everybody tight knit, like everybody knows everybody. It's cool. Yeah, you know, that's what I like about it. That's uh, yeah. earlier today. Someone was saying it's like a it's like a big family reunion when everyone comes out here. It is because we're all just hanging out downstairs. It, yeah, yeah. So it's, that's what makes it fun. Yeah, you know. Yeah. yeah, it wouldn't be fun if you were just coming out just to, you know, so riding by yourself is fun, but, like, it's cool when you're out here with everyone. Yeah, so. it is, you know. I mean, I understand the competition part of it, like, say, if you're into racing or whatever, and you take it seriously, there's nothing wrong with that. No. I mean, because we used to do it in the 80s, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but, I mean, at this point, we just do it for fun, so it, whatever happens, happens, that's <laughs> So, you know, like I said, whatever happens, happens. Happens, that's yeah. It, you know. What was, what was racing in the 80s like? Um, 
Um, I was. Are we a kid. talking like Days of Thunder? Like where? Uh, it was cool because like my dad had those. Had, well, actually, he brought a cart home. That's what started the whole thing, and we started racing it with his buddies <laughs> at um, a dirt track, a motorcycle track, Paris Raceway. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then Elsinore was another motorcycle track, and then Corona Raceway, and then um, that one thing led to another, and then that's when he started his cart shop, and then okay. um, it just went on from there. And anyway, um, yeah, it was fun. I mean, racing carts because we used to race dirt so it was like an unlimited class and i was small and i would be racing against adults yeah. so it was we would win a lot and, <laughs> and they and, you know and then after a while you start getting classes and weight classes and all that but at yeah. first it was awesome because i was light yeah so we would just go out there and tear it up you could just jockey and like yeah, oh, yeah. just knocking it, them out oh yeah because <laughs> i was so, so small you know yeah but um talk about it, playing to your advantages yeah for a while until they stopped it you know and then oh, we started racing you know more professionally you know like the yamaha series at corona then you have weight classes and stuff oh re okay yeah. gotcha yeah, and then it was a little bit different mm. you know so what um during that time like what let's what was the highest accolade you earned during this race period did you did you take home a, a cup from any of these oh things, yeah for, I mean, we had a, all kinds of first place trophies. as a matter of fact the first night that my dad put me on the cart um they run. Yeah, it was funny, man. The first night, I didn't even know I got first place, but I got first place because the um, you know you do three race, three races or three heats yeah. or whatever. Yeah, and um, the top guy broke on the last heat, and if you break on the last heat, you know the uh, second place is automatically first place. So, so I got a first place trophy on the first night that he put me nice. on there, and I'm like, okay, we're on to something here because I'm small and yeah. I'm willing just to thin it. You know what I mean? I'll yeah. just go. That's you know? awesome, man. Yeah, so it was cool. Okay. Yeah. Super cool, man. Yeah. But I mean, like I said, that didn't last forever because then, you know, yeah. as, the, as things progress, you know, people start, you know, the engines start getting hotter and stuff like that and people start getting into it more. And then, I was, Yeah, I was going to say yeah. the stakes get higher. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then... um then people will start waking up to my little our little game that we had going, you know, like, <laughs> like yeah. yeah, it was that. funny. So I guess I was going to ask: Are there any other events you guys attend? Mm, um, mm. The Phoenix Hood Ride. I mean, so far with the channel, we did the Hood Ride mm -hmm. in uh, Phoenix. JMBR. Not yet. You haven't Joe's you been out in California way to ride with uh, them or anything. I mean, no, not yet. Okay. I mean, we went to L.A. Um, to oh. Volts. Yes. I mean, to drop off a mini bike seat, we ended up doing a video. Okay. Oh, okay. but other than that. That was just a, a spur of the moment. Yeah, that was like thing. a spur of the moment. Yeah. yeah it nice. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. And so you said, you, did you pick up a frame out there? Um, didn't you? Don't, yeah, they actually sent me a GTS you, frame. Do you like that frame? Yeah, I like that frame. Nice. Yeah, it's a cool. It's really nice. What do you yeah. do? You drag with it or just cruise around with it or anything? Or just yeah, just cruise frame? around with it. I'd like to ask about how you go about producing content and like what what motivates you to do the next build or because I know you're doing it just for fun but like yeah um, I mean it's like every time you start a new project it's like you have to you have to kind of gird your soul because you're like I know I'm gonna be pouring out some blood sweat and tears on this one yeah and okay. what's cool about it you never know where it's gonna take you you never know <laughs> like once you start something I'm like okay it gives me another video idea yeah. or whatever depending I, on what I'm what I I'm wanted doing. to thank you because the electric bike video you did uh, I think it was the Megamoto 80 that you converted yeah man that was so cool yeah, and I, I it like it actually spurred me to buy I bought a battery and a motor oh, really? and stuff and yes. I want to yeah, I'm, I'm gonna convert I have an 8105 frame so I was either gonna do it on that or I was gonna do it on a rascal and just like turn into an electric bike because I was I was really digging. I was like, man, you made it look so cool. And oh, it is cool. Yeah. Huh? You made it look easy, though. That was the crazy That's thing, one man. one thing about video editing. You it know makes it, it, look makes it look easy. <laughs> you just smash so. cut to something else. Yeah. yeah. It's like, that's what's cool about editing, man. I look smarter than I really am on there. Like, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. You're actually a genius. Yeah. 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 I'm like, man, that makes me look cool on there, man. It took me 10 minutes to build this entire bike. That's awesome. So now, it does. well, that's pretty good. Give us one sec. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to throw it over to our sponsors real quick, and we will be right back. The Trailmaster Hurricane 200X, a high-performing mini bike with front and rear suspension that can take on any terrain and keep riders comfortable no matter what they throw at it. It has front and rear hydraulic brakes, a powerful 196cc engine, and a headlight to keep things lit. With so many features and things to love, it only gets better because we have plenty of upgrades available to take it to that next level. The Hurricane 200X by Trailmaster. Get yours at GoPowerSports.com. I was going to ask you that. How are the cops out here on that? Like, 
Well, he was he was kind of like, oh, okay, yeah, you're good, get out of here. Oh, like, cool. But no, um, yeah, no one's like super big about it. I, in your area, do you have any issues or not really? Um, I mean, I, I've been pulled over a couple times, but the cops are super cool so far. Yeah. You know. I, I wish that there was a way to make it legal to have your mini bike, and that's what bothers me is that there isn't a path to make it legal. It's just kind of like these things exist, and you can't have them. Okay. Like, and it's so, so frustrating. So you, you can't use the so the existing number on the frame here. You cannot use that then in Texas. I, I started looking into it, and I asked the city. I I like wrote to the city. I was like, "How would I do this?" And they're like, "We don't we don't support that at this time." Okay. Like, so like, they don't even do it. Thanks, guys. Like, yeah. Yeah. I was like, any information would be helpful. They're like, yeah, we got none for you. Oh wow. <laughs> I mean, we did that in Kingman. I brought a couple Mega Moto two twelves over there, and. Um, I was going to get them registered for the street and they went out there and we realized the VIN numbers or the number on the neck is exactly the same on both of them. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. <laughs> yeah, it, it was. I'm like, and I'm like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Anyway, so he goes, well, you're going to have to go to um, level two inspection. And I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, level go, two inspection. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, oh man, the, you know, the, um, uh, what was it? Port of entry, it was called. Oh, okay, yeah. Gotcha. We're like basically the highway patrol and all that. You know, they look at it. Anyway, I went over there and um, they're like, nope, we're not going to register this, man. There's Jeez. no way because it's not a 17 digit VIN number. You know, there? Yeah. Uh, on the Mega Motor 212. So, anyway, um, so then later on, uh, I don't know, a few weeks later, I was like, well, I'm going to take my uh, e bike yeah. back to the MVD. It's the MVD in Arizona. <laughs> and um, so I took it back over there and I said, I'm just going to get a. Uh, an off-road sticker for this thing then. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So anyway, I went in there with the with the Megamoto 80105 electric uh, e-bike and um I brought it in there and he goes, "Well, to get an off-road sticker, you got to get it titled anyway, and then you could just get it registered legally." And I go, oh, "Okay." And it was a different guy. Oh, so I'm like, yeah. And he went ahead and registered it. So oh, now nice. that's registered on the street for Cha -ch the street. Cha -ching. I, I got it here. I got the plates <laughs> on it and everything. Really? Street really? legal. Oh, a Megamoto 80105. Okay. Yeah. I'm I'm gonna yeah. I might yeah. give that a shot then to yeah. like try and get it. So you said it, so you just went in and basically got it titled. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's got a title. It's titled, registered, everything. Wow. It's got insurance, all of it. Okay. I mean, everything. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Because I, I want like, it to be something like I I'm I'm not a rule breaker by by nature, and I really want it to be able like. I would like to be able to ride one of these around without it being either a legal gray area or a definite no no. Yeah. Exactly. So. Yep. I mean, I had some. Um, you know. 49 cc stickers you know, <laughs> before put on there but, you know, yes. and 750 watts for the e-bike i know. see yeah i actually yeah. had it on there and then i went in there and actually got it registered i'm like oh cool nice yeah. <laughs> and, and the mb200 that we have here today is registered too for really? the street legally yeah wow yep there we go in yeah. arizona though in arizona yeah, yeah. So but i'd be interested i that would be a fun series to do i know what? So we would have to take bikes to Arizona and then bring no, them back. No, no. Oh. Why don't we bring the we'll bring the bikes to the Texas DMV and just say, hey, what do we need to do to get these things registered? You think it'll be as easy as this? I I <laughs> doubt it. So even you went into the DMV just you didn't have a, a sheet of paper that had the MSO or anything. No, or um, that's another thing too. Out there, if you don't have a certificate of origin, you can get a it's called a surety bond. Well, you go to the insurance company and they guarantee it basically for you that oh if somebody goodness. comes back and claims that bike, yeah. you know, it's covered. Yeah. So okay. you buy a surety bond and then within that bond period, I think it's like a year, uh -huh. you know, um, if nobody com comes back and claims that bike, then you get a, 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 a full on title for it, you know, nice. because it doesn't have a certificate of origin, Yeah. you know, mm -hmm. so. Okay. Would you yeah. mind if we and that's Arizona, though, so I don't yeah. know about... Yeah, we'd have to... I, I'd be interested you know. in... May, I, I, maybe I'll just go to the DMV and just ask, like, hey, I need the information on getting a, an off-road bike turned into a street-legal bike or getting a, a, an ele a motor vehicle. I actually got a street-legal video on my channel that shows, like, you know, their process of getting a surety bond if you don't have a certificate of origin and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's just their their thing, you know? But I think they're... I don't know. It's, it's weird. It's almost like... I don't know if you want to put this in there, but there's like a gray area. You know what I mean? Because yeah. uh, so this is the part, maybe you shouldn't put it in there. But anyway, because <laughs> when I went to the MBD at first, you know, the, they're telling me, okay, there's no way you can't register these. You know, like, nope, you can't do it. There's no way our new, whatever, we went to a new meeting and this and that. Yeah. I go back to a different guy and then he's like, oh yeah, no problem. Runs it right through the inspection, mm -hmm. registers it, no problem. So I'm like, I don't, you know. But then I, I feel like maybe that's just a some people are problem solver types. I guess. You know? I don't know. But I mean, Arizona law, though, yeah, the surety bond and all that stuff, that's how it is. Yeah. So I mean, you can throw that. But if you have a license plate, so when you do come to Texas or any other state, 
you're you're okay. Your yeah, and it has okay. insurance. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So is what it is. Because we yeah we we've been wanting to do for a while, or at least I have. I don't know about these guys, but. I wanted to do a long distance ride, but I wanted to make sure the bikes were were legal for yeah. us to be traveling. Yep. But I wanted to do a thing where we recreate. There's the what the loving trail. The loving trail. The loving trail. We wanted to recreate, which was like a cattle driving trail. Okay. And um, Oliver, who's next door, is like Oliver loving the f- fifth. Fifth. So he is like a direct descendant of the guy who founded this trail, basically. Oh, okay. And I thought it'd be kind of cool if we followed the trail back the you know the way that they went. Uh, Because now a lot of it is like highway roads, but it ends in Nevada, I think. Oh, okay. It's Nevada? No, Colorado. It ends in Colorado. Oh, yeah, that sounds right. That sounds correct. Please, anyone. (laughs) But but do it legally. Can correct us. Yeah. (laughs) Anyone can and should correct us. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But you want to do it legally on a legal bike? We want to do it on a legal bike, yeah. Yeah. Because I know that there's um, uh, uh, Kaiser. Kaiser. Yes, yes. Uh, Yeah. So Kaiser actually stayed at Zane's house for a night. (laughs) How'd that go? They're that was best good. friends. He's a nice dude. He's yeah. like he's a really good kid. Um, I mean, I think he's he's one of the he's one of the that generation that's like trying to figure out what it means to be alive in the modern age. Yeah, because it's you know okay. there aren't definite paths available to a lot of young people. Yeah. Um, and so he was just blazing his own trail, man. He seems like a good guy though. Well, cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, it was a trip. You know, I saw he going did he stop through and said and he was gonna, but he never did. Oh, he never. Oh, okay, yeah. gotcha. I think he stayed in. Um, he was on his way towards Kingman, but I think he stayed in Phoenix for a, quite a long time. Yeah, he actually. said for he ended, he ended up crashing in a few places for like a couple of weeks at a time yeah. and then moving on. But that's because uh, General Frankenstein, his bike was like, I mean, there were parts that are fused together from just the heat of running constantly yeah. the way they were. Yeah, crazy. So, it, yeah, that bike yeah. wasn't designed to do what he was doing, but he made it work. Yeah. So, yep. he was, you know, kind of a you know modern drifter, you know, modern cowboy man. Yeah. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Yep. So do you guys have any plans to try and do like a long distance mini bike ride? Actually, we thought about it, and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to get a couple of the bikes registered. You okay. Know, to do a long distance ride. Nice. You know, okay. How long? Um... We thought about just going, maybe at first go to going to Sedona, and then we even thought about doing Route 66. I mean, a long distance oh, ride. Nice. I mean, long, but that I don't know. Black 66 does Route 66 yeah. would be a it great sells video. Sells itself right? already. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. But I'm we, sold on it. I know, right? So we <laughs> thought about it. So that's one of the reasons why we wanted the registration on the bikes. You know, mm. but the only problem is right now we have an e-bike. I mean, you know, the range on that thing. So that would be kind of kind of an issue yeah you know yeah. e-bike part need to make a hybrid bike yeah no that would work yeah that would be cool yeah. but the mb200 now we got that one registered so that one's fine yeah you know and then yeah if you get throw an extended tank on it or oh, something yeah. yeah you can get some pretty good distance oh it'd be cool that'd be a fun trip for you guys that would be fun mm-hmm. Yeah. How yeah, many yeah. miles is Route 66? Uh, and how many days would this be? Several. It'd be a long trip. Yeah, going maybe 40, 50 miles an hour at a time. Yeah, but there yeah. are people, I mean, every year there are people. 2,278 miles. Uh, Thank you, Siri. <laughs> Thanks, Siri. Uh, so, uh, how many days is that? Hmm? How many day trip is that? Well, let's uh, figure you can cover maybe 60 miles a day. 60 miles? That's more than that. Let's say he's running 40 miles an hour and he's going eight hours. There's. So I mean, that divided by 300 <laughs> miles. 300 miles a day? Doable? Eight times how many? 40 miles? This is, this is where nah, people find out that this was already. secretly a math <laughs> podcast where we just bring on, like, esoteric questions yeah, that we, we answer. Yeah, just ruined them. Yeah. So, yeah, three weeks. All right. <laughs> I mean, it'll be a long video. I mean, you know. Yeah, that's a, that, yeah. I would say that's a series right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we, ta- we thought about starting out at... Um, at Santa Monica in California, but could you imagine on the freeway right there? I mean, that's insane. Well, you know what? Insane. Lane, yeah. I mean, lane splitting yeah. is legal yeah. in yeah. California. Yeah. Just saying. So It would be wild, man. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'd love to ride around with LA. Also, the groups out there that ride their mini bikes. They already are, do it anyway. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're doing it anyway. And yeah. they're super cool, too. Like, oh, yeah. The, the Compton guys there. are super cool. I know you got to meet Vaults and stuff. Oh, it was fun like, out yeah. there. Yeah. Um, yeah. I like going out there. So, outside of mini biking, what do you do to what do you do to to spend your time what do you do to unwind or is it really like you're in the shop and that's kind of what yeah, you mainly that's what it is i mean i'll walk my i mean run my dog around the neighborhood and run and stuff and i used to ride my bike a lot you know oh. bike and stuff but oh, i mean okay. just unwind but mainly it's that i mean it's weird because i'm retired yeah so it's just mainly that i mean video content i mean yeah. most of the time you know would you would weird. you recommend that people uh, so like you kind of rediscovered this passion at, when you retired is that or I mean, you? I mean, you've always been working. It sounds you've always been working on stuff. Oh like, yeah, mechanically. Yeah, but I, I think uh, 
I mean, that's it. it would be kind of cool to see more people who are like getting into that phase where they're like, okay, I'm I'm done. I'm retired from my career, but now I can focus on something I want to do. Yeah, exactly. So, yep. Not that people don't love their jobs, but you know, yep. there, there's a difference. There is. <laughs> I know what you're saying. I mean, it, what's nice about this is like, if you do get burnout or whatever, I mean, you can just stop. I mean, yeah. you, don't, you can stop for a while. Yeah. Yeah. And then pick it back up. Yeah. If you, I mean, if you get stopped by the sheriff or uh, at the giga, <laughs> yeah. well, the giga I've, plant. Yeah. Well, I got stopped on the mini bikes a couple times in Kingman because, because oh. like I said, I mean, I have like 25 bikes and most of them aren't registered or not registered so, yeah but so. you said that you said that most of the guys out there most of the cops yeah, and the highway patrol really cool. are pretty chill oh yeah okay they're nice cool. yeah i gotta actually i have a video where we got pulled over so oh okay me, yeah. Yeah. yeah she was really cool okay but she said you need to go down and get these registered and that's when i started looking down the into rabbit it. hole yeah i actually started you know looking into getting re getting the bikes registered and um yeah, I don't know. It seemed harder than <laughs> <laughs> than it should be, perhaps. Well, at first, yeah, you know, it was weird, but whatever. Yeah, you just got to get that right guy at the DMV, apparently. Yeah, apparently, <laughs> it's weird. sorry, the MVD. Yeah. Okay, MVD. got it. Motor Vehicle Department. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, of the twenty-five or so bikes that you own, what is your favorite to ride? Oh man, I would say my Mega Moto eighty. Oh yeah, yeah. I just like that bike. Okay, it's just fun to ride around on. <laughs> nice. Is that, and is it the geometry of it? Or yeah, it's just like, the way it handles, the way it feels. It's got the suspension on the front. I mean, it's stretched. You can't beat that. Yeah, yeah it's just a nice riding bike. I like riding that around the neighborhood. Yeah. It's small for my weight. I mean, okay. it's a small bike. Now, you know? what's the fastest? Because you uh, almost every video you've included a like a speed test, and you'll like yeah. show like here, this is the benchmarks that I'm hitting. What's the fastest you've gone on a mini oh, bike? Right around 80, and that's another Mega Moto 80, my electric Mega Moto 80. So I like the Mega Moto 80, 105. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's another one that's my favorite because, you know, it's just small, light, fast, I mean, yeah. quick. And right the, off the um, line. <laughs> yeah, the um, QS138 electric bike, it um, goes 0 to 30 in, in the one second range. I know that's crazy, but in the one second range, wow. you know, with the draggy. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, those, um, uh, yeah, those kits that they put out oh, are really good. Yeah, they're actually dirt bike kits. Yeah. You know? But yeah, but they work very well. Oh, on yeah. A mini and if you bike gear frame. them right. Yes. You know? Yeah. So I gear them a little bit higher because of the short tires on the Mega Moto 80. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, you end up with a super quick bike. I mean, and fast. I mean, it goes, you know, right now it's geared to around 80, you know, but it has the torque. I mean, you could gear it. To run a lot faster, but I don't know if I want to go faster on it. So, well, actually, that's a good segue into the next question we were going to ask, which is, how would you feel about going 100 miles per hour yeah. on a mini bike? I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's going, it's it's going that way. So, I don't know. <laughs> you know scary. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, 80 cent is scary as it is. Yeah, yes. it is. Yeah. An extra She's 20 like, miles yes. an hour. Yeah. That's that's kind of nuts. But I mean, I know the bike could do it. I no. mean, the 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 bike I have now, the QS138. Um, Mega Moto 80105, that bike will do, I guarantee that bike will do 100 if I gear it that way. Yeah. You know, which is crazy. But you know, it has a torque. So it, you're going to do it? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. I don't know. I, I would say yeah. your 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 wife do is it. very is emphatically yeah. nodding. Yes, he is. Yeah. Like you're I mean, gonna I, do it. If I get the right tires, yes, on there, I might do it. Yeah. You know. Well, I'm just scared of the tires. You know, so, they're, not, they're not designed for that. You know. Yeah. No, what tires would you run? I don't know. Just something DOT approved. You know, oh. whatever it is. You know, <laughs> on a six inch rim. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I might do it on these. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Um. So now, how would you feel about riding it on a? We actually are. This is a prototype of the drag frame, the now drag that awesome. rascal that we're going to be releasing. Um, do you think that you would be able to turn this into something that could go 100 miles per oh, hour? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just having a blank frame like this interests you? Because yes. If we get one out to you? Oh, yeah. Because what's nice about this is this is our drag bike. It is also our slant bike. It's modular to where you can have your foot pegs up here or in the back if you want to drag race. It has it to where you can run live axle in the rear or just a bearing style rim in the back. It's lightweight. It's long enough if you if you want to lean over you know the front of the bars. You have wheelie bar attachments if need be or a fender attachment in the rear. The engine mount is is actually raised ready to be for the 30 series kit or run a clutch. We are definitely excited about that. I this. love that engine mount on that thing. That yeah. Looks yeah. Awesome. I mean, honestly, there's a lot of room for a battery the right entire. there from what I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be a nice <laughs> e-bike. Yes, it would. That I would. Mean, I mean, because of the torque, I mean, um, yeah, the length of that frame. I mean, so... You it, it would kind of, yeah, you'd be able to offset a little bit. It would be really bit. happy. Exactly, you know, yeah. yeah. That's the thing, because you got that instant torque, and that's the thing with the um, my um, stretched Megamoto 8105. Well, I use your swing arm kit, the nice. GPS swing arm kit. Yeah. And um, that makes... 
for a great e-bike platform. I mean, because yeah. you can just nail it. And I mean, just the front end stays down. <sighs> yeah. Because it kind of squats, mm. you know? So I know that's why I'm, that bike is just awesome. That's I mean, uh, yeah. As far as handling goes. It's an awesome bike, man. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's a great bike for gas or electric. Yeah. You know, that frame. Okay, yeah. Know? Yeah, and that one would be too, because it's nice and low. Well, I you know, I, mean, I, I definitely, uh, I, I, I can see a future in which Santa drops one of those in your stocking this year, perhaps. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So. At, at, at our timeline right now, we are looking good for it, a fourth Q, quarter, yes. QS138 bike right there, man. Yeah, <laughs> That's a 100 mile an hour bike right That's there. A, yeah. yeah. But um, also, we're going to be having... Uh, we're going to be having the GPS 660 come end of March, end which of March is 2024. going to be our eighth mile drag race event. Oh, okay. Um, okay. So you guys are cordially invited. Please bring mm -hmm. down whatever you want. But I mean, that's the thing. You bring that e-bike out. Yeah, bring that e-bike yeah. out. Be yeah, people will want to run against it because they yeah. love seeing that. Because especially we're going to have it over at Yellow Belly. And recently there was a gentleman from Louisiana who came out and started smoking everybody. He, what, what, what was he running? Small block. Yeah. Wow. A yeah. small block, big block, and small block. The e-bike was killing everybody. Yeah. Oh yeah. But, but he Just, had yeah. he had like uh, uh, the battery pack he had was really like it was uh, I guess a series of batteries. Oh, okay. Like he he had really built this thing out. Yeah. It was, I'm gonna say yeah. eighty percent battery. Yeah. Oh okay. So um, but his speed was insane. Uh, well, I mean, know. just quickness. Yeah. Instant. Instant. And I think that it's gonna have to eventually it'll have to be its own class because it's just you're you're gonna get smoked if you show up with a combustion yeah. engine i mean so. um depending on the battery you know and the, how many that's true you know, yes. your, yeah how many watts you're running and because, the engine and yeah yeah because yeah, i went to la and uh, those bikes are fast man oh, yeah. you know the drag race bikes out there and um, yeah. you know he smoked me uh, tommy <laughs> yeah but i was running an 80 amp that, that was my first you know uh megamoto 80 e-bike yeah you know, the very yeah. first one I, I built and it was a qs120 which was still super quick but yeah, uh, yeah, and uh, but it only put out, you know, it was running eighty amps, so um, an eighty amp battery. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I would pull him out of the off the line, but then he would just be gone, you know, with that gas powered yeah. bike, you know. I mean, because it, it didn't have the top speed of the top end, you know, had instant yeah. torque, but not that top. You don't, yeah, you don't have you don't have anywhere to go from there. Yeah, really. it's yeah, like, it's kind it of peak like, out really quick. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, but, but so um, now, I mean, I'm kind of working my way up. You know, yeah. to where it's getting crazy now. Getting little... You need a frame like that or something that can handle the torque, the instant yeah. torque. But yeah, we I mean, you if, if you're going to be working on something like that, we'd love to see yeah. it out there at the uh, at the 660. I mean, I'm not into drag racing, but I do it. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, now, do you have any advice to aspiring builders and YouTubers? Oh uh, yeah, have fun. I'm mean, serious. That's and, and you know what? Like, um, you were gonna um, my favorite video or one of my favorite videos that I or a few of my favorite videos are the videos that we take out just whatever bike. I mean, it doesn't have to be expensive. Hmm. I mean, we have a stock Tillerson 212 and that 179cc snowblower engine on one of our last videos. <laughs> yes, that was awesome. And we had a blast. I mean, you're out there, a mini bike adventure. You yeah. go, it doesn't, have to, it doesn't have to be expensive and they are a blast. I mean, we go out there, one of them broke down, we had to tow the other one back. I mean, it's just fun. <laughs> yep. So my advice is have fun. I don't care what it is, man. It's just all fun. To me, it's all fun. I don't care what it is. You know, yeah. $3,000 bike. Five hundred dollar bike, whatever. Yeah, you know, just have fun. That's it. You know, I don't take it too seriously. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, you know. So, uh, Alan, what's your favorite bike? Uh, that it would dad... be the Megamoto, the electric bike. That electric bike. one. Yes, the nice. bike is fast. Have you taken it out? Yes, it's oh, good. He's yes. on the video on one of the last. Yeah, almost hit eighty. Uh, oh, miles an hour. oh, okay. So yeah. Oh yeah. I, he he can he can race. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. We well, we got to see you hit a hundred too. Right. On I this. Can do yeah. it. I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. There's your jockey right there. That's yep. what I need a jockey. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Well, <laughs> we have a couple downstairs too who are very. I mean, talk to Dede and Flacco. Oh, I know oh, yeah. they'll do it. They are. Yeah. Yeah, they're into drag racing. They're those speed, guys will yeah. do it. No speed problem. freaks, man. Yeah. They're they're fast. Yeah. So something like that. Right, so would you need like. An airstrip to maybe hit a hundred? You think just outside of your roads, your street roads, you mm -hmm. can easily do it? Not an e-bike. Okay. No. Oh, an e-bike. I mean, it's just he was doing eighty down our street. I mean, yeah. it's just like now. I mean, yeah, like that. Yeah, I don't. It doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Really, it's the the you need the stopping distance. I guess is the real thing. Yeah, and that yeah. no one's gonna pull out in front of you. Exactly. <laughs> really yeah. scare you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can. Like, of course, all the drag, like Day Day, all the drag racers know. I mean, you do it on a gas bike, of course. As a matter yeah. of fact, the gas bikes smoke most of my e-bikes. Yeah. You know, I mean, but an e-bike just seems, um, the platform itself is just easier. I mean, everything's just so easy that pretty much anybody can do it. Yep. I mean, without any, yeah. 
um, without any no, no knowledge or any well, cause very little knowledge. One of the things you know? that uh, the Day Day was talking about when he was on the podcast was that like yeah, I mean anyone can hit a hundred. It's just are you willing to spend the money on the motor? Exactly. That's that's there you go. And that's, that's what it is. Yeah, I mean in the knowledge to put it all together. You yeah, know, those guys they got their stuff together and they've been doing it a long time. But I mean an e bike. I mean, you can pretty much start out new. I mean, you throw a QS138 kit on there geared right, and that thing's going to fly. I yeah. mean, it doesn't, it doesn't really that's take a lot of is. knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah. It, it's, it's reduced the barrier to entry, though. And maybe that's not necessarily a good thing, but it's, it's made it so that you don't need to have that equal parts science and art understanding of how an engine is put together. You don't. So, no. It's yeah. just crazy, you know? I mean, it's, ex it's kind of expensive, you know? I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. I mean, the battery technology and stuff is still really expensive. You know, so that's one thing I but mean, that you got to deal with. But that's other than the, that, I will I mean, say, yeah, that's that's the. I think that is the big barrier to entry is that like you can you you can spend the money to get that kit, but also those. I mean, the, the, the QS one thirty eight, QS one twenty, QS ninety, yeah. Yeah, no, the, all of those kits, because I, I was looking into those, and I was like, oh, man, this, it's nice, because it's an all-in-one kit, and you just throw it on. Yeah, plug but, and man, play. they're pricey. They are pricey. Yeah. What's pricey, though? Over 1000 Yeah. Oh, yeah. Over 2000 Yeah. yeah. Okay. But I, I mean, the kit itself under, I mean, the kit itself, you're talking like, you know, in the thousand dollar range, but you start adding a fifteen hundred dollars. Once you throw a battery on it. Yes. Yeah. You're talking way over a few thousand. No, I mean, I, I think yeah. it's, uh, when I added it all up to get the kit, like the build I was looking for, it was something between 38 and 4,400. Dang. Wow. So you can either put on a $200 Tillotson 212 engine or $2,500 electric engine, but it's pretty sweet yeah oh man yeah that is a huge gap to definitely be no that's a about. big that's a big jump and i i i think that once we can i say we like i'm doing you, anything yes, about it you yeah alone but i think no i think i think as a as a society once we can get to a point where we can miniaturize the batteries a bit more i think that they'll go down in price but you think it, 10 years from now yeah i think so i mean the battery technology you know as you as it progresses you know things things get cheaper and cheaper and cheaper yeah. you know but um like I was saying before, though, for me, I mean, yes, e-bikes are a blast. I mean, they're super fun, but I still have just as much fun with a cheap, yeah. inexpensive bike. So, yeah. like, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'm just weird that way. <laughs> like, yeah. It's just your wheels and you're good. It's just fun. Yeah. It's just you know, nice being on two wheels. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Just out there having yeah. fun, you know? <laughs> cool. Well, I mean, that gets us kind of home. That does get us there. That was actually on time so we are a-okay -okay. i want to thank both y'all so thank much you. for coming on the podcast with us i want to tell you guys both y'all good luck on the gps 180 coming up right. please come back in one <laughs> in one piece and we hope <laughs> to see you guys again but appreciate you guys coming out thank you thank you and uh, as if you guys have any comments for us leave them down below and as always like subscribe and ride on appreciate you all. yo appreciate it brother that was a good Speaking, time man good. Good. Yeah. you're good yeah